Today I'm going to take you through an edit of a raw photo that I took with my Insta360 ONE R 1 inch edition using Luminar 4 on my desktop. And the great thing that you're going to learn from me doing this is that, check it out, you can get great results and you can get them fast. Let me walk you through my process here. Now, you can do this really fast, but I'm gonna take a little time explaining each slider and each step for you so you can apply your new knowledge too to your own edits with different photos that you take, no matter what camera you use to take them with. Watch out for more from me as I take you through those different examples of edits using different photos from different cameras, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. Okay, let's jump over to my desktop Mac, and yes, you can use Luminar 4 on Windows PCs too. Okay, I'm gonna show you a single image edit, which means editing the raw file with Luminar 4 from start to finish without using Photoshop or Lightroom or anything like that. So here's the photograph that I'm gonna edit to show you. Uh, so I'm gonna to jump to the main panel here, uh, and if I click the info setting, uh, it's confirmed that it's from the Insta360 ONE R. I use the one inch edition, and you can see from the photograph dimensions uh, here, that it was the one inch edition. It's a big file, it's 31.8 megabytes raw file and was taken on the evening of 5th of November. It was actually, uh, it says 6.16 6, a.m. here, it was actually the evening, a local ferry here in Wellington. Uh, and so you'll see here that this raw file looks pretty flat. Not much color and the sky looks pretty featureless as well. That's because the sky was featureless, there wasn't much going on, but we'll see what we can do about that. And the, you see there's a lack of color and sort of detail and contrast that you can see in this raw file. So why, why does it look like that? Why do raw files look like this? Well, you have to think about them as needing developing, much like you would do a negative uh, for a photo using a film camera. Um, so when you get a JPEG, um, they're already processed by your camera and each camera brand has a particular way of doing that. Like I like Fujifilm cameras for how they process their JPEGs. I like the look and the color uh, science that they use um, beneath that. It boosts the contrast, it boosts the image. All of that stuff is done under the hood before you see it. But RAW files have all the data that's captured by the image sensor, but you need to make those changes yourself. So that's what we're gonna do here. So consider it like having a completely blank slate and you are going to bring your own creative juice to that and that's where Luminar 4 really shines. So let me get back into the edit panel here and we will look at uh, the AI accent tool to start off with here in the AI enhance panel. So what does that do? So this is a really powerful slider. It controls shadows, highlights, contrast, tone, saturation, exposure. It's really an all-in-one powerful tool and slider, all working in harmony with each other. So let's see, let's see what happens if I push this up quite a bit. And you can see here, um, there's a lot of changes starting to happen in this image now. Okay, it's really bringing it up here. And look at this, um, how the histogram is now changing as well. So let's take that back down, and you can see it's really starting to bring everything towards the center. It's less kind of pushed to the right hand side as well. And I think that's about right. That's where I'm going to leave that here. So next I want to see what I'm going to do about this flat, gray, cloudy sky. Let's see if I can get some texture and tone into that. And this is using the AI Sky Enhancer tool just here. All right, so let's, what, what it can do here, what's really good is that it can detect what's in the foreground and it masks that automatically. You don't have to do anything. It performs all the improvements that you need to do, selecting the um, brightness and the contrast and the saturation, the vividness, as well as kind of recovering those details in the cloud. So let's see what we can do here. Uh, oh wow, look at that, that's a big change. And look at that histogram changing as well. Um, yeah, that's looking good. Yeah, I like that. Too far, and I think I'll get too much vignetting going on. Yeah, I don't, don't like that so much. Let's bring this down a bit. Yeah, I think that, that looks about, about right. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna look at the structure in the photo. So let's uh, click down here. Uh, and what that does is it enables me to adjust the image detail and clarity and it's content aware slider and it's human aware. So if you've got faces or skin in these photos, they don't get over processed, but the other objects look more detailed. So it knows what's in the photo. The AI is really smart about doing that, but there's no humans here to worry about. So we can just get going with this. All right, so let's get this going up. Let's see where we end up here. Oh yeah, I'm liking that. 
that's probably too far. Let's let's leave it around about about uh, let's see around there. I like that. Yeah, that's looking good. Okay, okay. So the the boost slider here uh, that gives you kind of more of an aggressive look, gives you more of an HDR feel. I'm not really looking for that here. No, look at that. It's too, I don't like that at all. I'm going to take that off completely. I'm going to go for more of a natural look, trying to bring out the details, but staying more naturalistic in its original, in its tone. Um, I don't really like that HDR look, not for this photo anyway. Now look, I can probably stop here. Um, and just using those three sliders, if we just look at this AB tool, look at the massive difference we've made already. And you could just probably stop there with just those three sliders and you've made, you've got a really, really good result. But I'm just gonna carry on for a little bit longer and you can see the sorts of things that you can do if you carry on. So I'm gonna hop down here now to the Landscape Enhancer tool. Now what this does is it just basically is a way of looking at your landscape and really improving that. Now the first tool I'm going to use here is the Dehaze tool uh, and that balances kind of like contrast, clarity and color adjustments to really pop the image, really clarify it. I'm going to dial this up here just to, I think it's still looking a little bit flat and just see what that does just to bring a little bit of sharpness and detail. I think that's looking pretty good. I like that. Um, and then what I'm going to do here, I'm going to bring a little bit of a softness and glow to this image as well. It's looking a bit cold. It's looking a bit cool. It was cold. Uh, I just want to change the feel a little bit here. So let's bring that golden in our sort of like feel, the warmth here with this, uh, just brings up a little bit of warmth in that image. Emulates that kind of just before sunset kind of warmth and tone to the image as well. Yeah, I like that. That's looking nice. I, I like that. It's a little bit warmer than it was. Um, and if we can just uh, switch this off, you can see the adjustments that we made here. Some more detail, a little bit more. Might bring that up even a little bit more. There we go. Okay, that's great. Now I want to just kind of go back a little step here, and just want to look at how the light looks in this image. So let's just pop back up here in this panel, and I just want to make a few changes. So I just want to look at this smart contrast tool. I want to bring that. Just bring a bit more contrast in here. Now, yes, it's probably making the highlights probably a little bit too white, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adjust that at last, right at the very end, I'm gonna come back to that. I'm just gonna bring the shadow detail up a little bit. There we go, look at that in the foreground. That's really, really changed that a bit. Uh, let's have a look here. I think that's probably about right there. Look at that bit under the boat there. You can see the big difference that it's made there. You know, it's really bringing out some of that detail. Um, yeah, okay, let's get back up here where were we were about 55 here, five, and we were about, let's see, the shadows, I was probably, there we go. Uh, and I just want to bring those highlights down. Uh, as I was saying, I think that's probably a bit too much there. Uh, let's just take those whites down a little bit. Okay, that's looking quite good, I like that. All right, so we're nearly there. I just want to make a few changes with the details enhancer. Now, what this is going to do is just going to bring up the, the the sharpness in some of these small, some of the small details. Let's let's pop those up a bit, and let's also look at the medium details. I don't want to make it too crunchy and too sharp, but yeah, I think that's probably going to be okay for me. There, just don't want to go too over the top for that. I want that big HDR kind of like feel. Last thing I want to do is just look at the advanced contrast uh, section here. And I just want to, again, the highlights, I just want to just work on that a little bit here. Uh, let's see what we can do here with the highlights contrast. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's really changing the image a lot here. Let's turn that back again and then let's bring that. Oh yeah, look at that. It's bringing down that contrast a little bit. See where we end up. Oh yeah, so we got less kind of crunchy sky there. What does it look like with that on and off? Yeah, I think it's just softening the image a little bit there, and I think that looks pretty good. All right, I think I've got a finished image. Let's check this against the original. Look at that. There's the original. Here we go with the Luminar 4 developed photo. Let's check that as a slider as well. And I think you can see how Luminar 4 is a very powerful tool and you can get great results developing the raw images 
from your one inch edition Insta360 ONE R. You can get Luminar 4 from my affiliate link in the pinned comments below or the video description and check out this video from me. I think you'll find it very interesting. Be sure to come back again soon. See you back here. Thanks for watching. Laters in it.